inhale reach your hands all the way up and lean your body towards the right side inhale reach your hands all the way up and lean towards your left side continue for three to five rounds while leaning grab your knees properly and try to extend your hands as much as possible and keep your biceps close to your ears while leaning try to look at the top corner and feel the stretch all the way in the sides of the oblique very importantly breathe along with the movements inhale reach your hands all the way up and now twist your body towards the left side inhale once again reach your hands all the way up as we exhale twist your body towards the right side continue for 3 to 5 rounds while twisting try to keep the back hand as much as possible close to the buttocks and keep your fingertips on the floor and try to lengthen your spine now inhale reach your hands all the way up and drop it all the way back fingers pointing outside and lift your hip as much as possible inhale lift up exhale bring it down if you're comfortable you can touch the knees on the floor and drop your head back continue for 3 to 5 rounds along with your breath now relax your shoulders relax your fingers for a while extend your legs one by one forward reach your both the hands all the way up as we inhale as we exhale grab your left knee and take it close to the chest inhale reach up and exhale grab your right knee continue try to keep your spine as much as possible straight along with your breathing now take your left heel outside your right knee in line with your left knee toes pointing forward grab your left knee with your right hand and take your left hand all the way back twist your spine and look back now take your right heel outside your left buttocks left heel outside your right buttocks and try to bring your both the knees in one line your soles of the feet facing all the way back inhale open your hands squeeze your shoulder blades exhale give a nice and tight hug cross your elbows and cross your wrist lift your elbows a little bit up in line with the shoulders fingers pointing to the ceiling now slowly release your legs one by one inhale reach your hands and try it on the other side bend your right knee take it outside your left knee toes pointing forward grab your right knee with your left hand right hand goes all the way back twist your spine and look back breathe here for 5 breaths and slowly cross your legs place your both heels by the side of your buttocks bring your knees as much as possible in one line soles of the feet facing all the way up and back inhale and extend your hands all the way back exhale grab your shoulder blades after that cross your elbows try to bring your palms together and lift your fingertips towards the ceiling and bring your elbows in line with the shoulders and breathe and exhale release your hands one by one extend your legs inhale reach your hands all the way up as we exhale lean your body towards the right side drop your head as much as possible down inhale reach up exhale take your hands as far back as towards your left inhale reach up exhale to the right continue for a few more rounds 5 to 6 rounds try to take your hands as far back as possible 
Your hip will little bit slightly comes up. It's completely fine. Try to feel the twist in the lower back. Slowly drop your hands down as you exhale. Now, now, slowly bring your soles of the feet together. Grab your toes, interlock your fingers. If you're not able to grab your toes, you can grab your ankles or your shin bone. Gently swing your knees as much as possible rapidly. Keep doing like that few more times. If you're comfortable, you can lift all the way up towards your hands and bring it down. Now slowly extend your right leg towards the right side as far back as possible. Left heel close to the perineum. Keep your both the buttocks on the floor. Take your right hand in line with your right knee, left hand in line with your left buttocks. As you exhale, reach your left hand, lean your body towards the right. Inhale, come back to the position. Continue, few more rounds. And try to make sure, keep your right toe pointing towards your body and your right heel pushing all the way away from the body. And the last one. You need to lean all the way and stay there as much as possible. With the support of your right elbow, open up your torso and keep your left hand as much as possible straight and look to the left corner. Exhale all the way, come back and release your legs to the butterfly position. Once again swing your knees and get ready for the other side. Try to sit on your buttocks. Tuck your posture, your knees and your arms, knees and your buttocks. As you exhale, you need to lean towards your left side. Inhale, you need to come all the way back. Make sure your left toe pointing towards your body, left heel pushing all the way away. And last one, try to deepen your stretch. With the support of your left elbow, open your torso and reach your right arm as much as possible and breathe for five and slowly come back to the butterfly interlock your fingers and now relax your buttocks for a while swing your body towards the right and towards the left as much as possible grabbing your toes it feels so good relaxation on the buttock muscles Continue for a few more rounds. Now from there, now slowly extend your legs one by one forward. From there, bend your knees and come into diamond pose, Vajrasana. As you inhale, drop your buttocks towards the right side. Reach your right hand all the way up. As you exhale, lean your body towards the left side. Inhale, drop your buttocks towards the left side. Reach your left hand all the way up. Exhale, lean to the right. Continue a few more rounds. Make sure your torso is facing forward. And while leaning, try to look to the top right corner or top right. While leaning, look at the top right corner or top left corner. last one stay for five breaths now from here come into tabletop position chuck your posture stack your palms right under your shoulders stack your knees right under your hips you can tuck your toes or you can release your toes whichever you feel comfortable. We are going to do Vustrasana stretch. Bring your right foot in line with your palm. Come up on your left knee. Tilt your hip. Keep tilting the hip as much as possible. Extend your hands in line with the shoulders. As you inhale, reach your left hand up. Exhale. Lean your body back and reach your right hand all the way up and back as much as possible from your side. 
inhale and slowly come forward exhale drop your hands and take your leg back now we are going to do on the other side tuck your right toe inhale reach your right hand up and drop it all the way back on your right heel reach your left hand as we exhale and lean your body inhale slowly come forward exhale come back to tabletop position now we are going to do marjariyasana stretch cat and cow inhale lift your chin up exhale chin to your chest inhale lift your chin all the way up exhale bring your chin towards your chest try to do as much as possible slowly along with your breath completely as we inhale feel the arch in the lower back as we exhale try to feel the arch in the back after that exhale and come into child's pose wide open your knees extend your hands forward towards the right side and stay there for 5 to 6 breaths and slowly walk your hands all the way towards your left side and stay there for 5 to 6 breaths observe the stretch in the sides of the body from there slowly come back to center Now come into prone position bring your legs together extend your hands all the way over your head drop your forehead down palms facing down Now inhale lift your left hand and right leg simultaneously along with your head and your chest exhale drop it down inhale other side exhale down Make sure your biceps in line with your ears and try to keep your knees as much as possible straight Now we are going to do the variation two. Here we are going to lift your both the hands and legs all the way up. Exhale slowly, drop it down. Inhale, exhale down. Make sure your biceps in line with the ears and keep your knees as much as possible straight. Without any jerky movements, you need to do along with your breath. Now we are going to do the variation. Take your hands to the corners and also your feet to the corners and do the same movements. Inhale, lift your body up. Exhale down. Make sure you're not tilting your head. Keep looking forward. Your ears in line with the biceps. Continue again along with your breath. no jerky movements now next variation your hands in line with your shoulders continue with the same movements exhale drop it down inhale all the way up exhale drop it down try to keep your palm as much as possible in line with your shoulders and lift your body as much as possible higher now the last variation bring your hands by the side of your buttocks palms facing up and bring your feet together 
your chin or forehead on the floor continue with the same movement inhale up exhale slowly down take your hands all the way up as much as possible inhale reach up exhale down continue for few more rounds make sure your elbows and your knees are as much as possible straight and you're not tilting your neck all the way back after that relax in makarasana feet apart heels facing each other Gently bring your feet into hip width distance, hands over your head, palms facing down. Grab your right ankle with your right hand with the support of your left palm and left toes. Lift your upper body and lower body, balance on your belly. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Make sure you're taking the support of your left palm and also your left toes. and try to lift as much as possible your right thigh and also your chest off the ground switch the sides grab your left ankle with your left hand with the support of your right palm and your right toes gently lift your chest and also your left thigh off the ground as much as possible without tilting your body towards the right side very importantly inhale you need to lift your body all the way up exhale drop it down now relax in makarasana you need to swing your knees one by one back and forth This is one of the best practice which you can practice any time in a day whenever you are watching TV or whenever you feel like so much of stress or pain in the lower back you can do this practice and also people who are having knee issues can also do this practice of doing alternate legs you can do both the legs bending your both the knees very gently and very softly that slowly turn around and lie down in supine position bend your knees feet apart with hip width distance and the distance between your heels and the buttocks is approximately one elbow distance keeping your palms firmly on the floor lift your buttocks all the way up exhale drop it down inhale all the way up exhale drop it down you need to keep your feet firmly on the floor now slowly bring your legs little bit close to the buttocks and again continue inhale lift your buttocks all the way up and exhale drop it down continue for few more rounds now bring your heels almost close to the buttocks make sure your heels and your knees in line your toes pointing to the corners and continue inhale lift your buttocks all the way up exhale all the way down inhale all the way up exhale drop it down continue for few more rounds
last one hold it for five breaths now bring your feet together knees together toes together heels together place your right thigh or your left thigh extend your hands in line with the shoulders palms facing up drop your knees towards the left side turn your face to the right side observe the stretch in the lower back and breathe for 5 to 9 breaths make sure your shoulder blades are on the floor and try to bring your knees as much as possible close to the armpit now same drop your knees towards the right side and tilt your head towards the left side try to bring your awareness towards the lower back you can keep your eyes closed now switch your legs left thigh or your right thigh drop your both the knees all the way towards the left side again turn your face towards the right palm keep your eyes closed and keep your awareness in the lower back muscles slowly bring your knees to the center and drop your both the knees all the way towards the right side now and turn your face towards the left side without lifting your shoulder blades stay here for again 5 to 9 breaths slowly come back to center relax your legs once again feet apart more than your hip width this time now once again bend your knees feet apart with hip width distance toes pointing to the corners here you are keeping the lower back on the floor and trying to squeeze the buttock muscles and bring it all the way down only you are trying to squeeze the buttock muscles and trying to tuck the tailbone under and dropping it down tuck your tailbone as you inhale release your tailbone as you exhale tuck the tailbone as you inhale release the tailbone as you exhale Shavasana, keeping your knees bent, palms facing up. Gently close your eyes. Very important thing in Shavasana is you need to breathe in and breathe out with your spine. As you inhale, try to imagine the breath is coming all the way from the tailbone. and going all the way to the top of your spine as we exhale it is coming all the way down from the top of your spine to the tailbone continue taking deep and long breath inhale in the ascending order all the way from the tailbone to the top of your spine exhale in the descending order top of your spine to the tailbone breathing with your spine variation 2 you can extend your legs you can keep the bolsters or pillow under your knees and keep a slight cushion under your head make yourself comfortable and also you can lie down now slowly turn towards the right side lean to the right and come into any comfortable sitting position we will end the session by chanting one om you can chant inside your mind if you like my video if you think it is helpful please like share and comment and do let me know your feedbacks thank you stay blessed